Well, what is going on everyone? How are you doing? I hope you're having yourself a fantastic Sunday. Today we're going to open up a Magic the Gathering double feature box. I, I know this is not a Magic channel, I know. Uh, and I know this is not the best content, but honestly, uh, weekend content's never very good, never gets very many views. And I have this box here and I just have to know what the cards look like. Because this has been like the most like hated box of magic ever um and people hate it people love it i don't know i don't know what it's like i don't know what's in it and i bought a bunch of them and i just need to know what's in it so i'm opening it up i want to know what's in it and uh i i needed content for Sunday. my weekend's been crazy my wife's been working like crazy so um i anyway no more excuses we're gonna see what's in this double feature box together uh, I've heard that these are kind of cool. I know Rudy did a video where he's like, I'm buying them all. Um, <laughs> because I'm right. He just buys what people hate. Um, these actually, like, I love the auxiliary products like this that people don't like because nobody invests in them. Everyone's too afraid of it. Uh, and so like, that's the type of stuff that I, I get because they're not going to print that many of it. Uh, dual for like, oh, so this is all black and white. See, like, that's kind of cool. The question is, are they cards that you actually want? Um, like, and like, what do the foils look like? Gale Drifter? Okay, so it's like all the cards from the two sets, but like they just made it dark. <laughs> like they took the same artwork, they just made it dark. It's kind of a lazy product. Um, okay, so you get lots of, oh, okay, there's our first rare, two rares, and a foil all right so this is what the foils look like like that's what i'm curious on like i do think something like this are they etched no it's just like a regular foil. i think something like this these could actually hold some like the singles in this could actually hit some premium uh if people want to kind of bling out their deck in this way what i like about it is it reminds me of old like the old horror movies which i know that's exactly what they're going for um, and I love old horror movies, but like when I played commander, I loved to try to get like unique, fun, um, artwork things. Oh my gosh. There's like a baby there. Um, I used to like try to get like unique, fun art things. Um, and that's what draws me to a product like this is like, it's so unique. They're never going to redo it. All right. Uh, I don't know what the hits are from the set. Uh, I assume one of them is, um, like a planeswalker or something. Here's our foil. Like, so I don't know. The question is how many of these are there? Like this is something that people may try to set collect, but there seems like 210. That's a lot of cards. Th 328 on that one. That's a lot of cards. Like that's what the issue is. Um, Spirit Knight, Geast, and the Bloodcaster. All right. I don't know. I just think they're they're cool. Like it's a unique product, and that's what makes me excited about it. Um, I like unique. All right, we're gonna skip to the. the commons it's a unique product and that's what makes me like it um it's one of those products so that like it could just bomb and could be a bomb forever welcoming vampire but if you had a vampire deck oh man scarecrow deck too if you had a vampire deck or a scarecrow like th this would be the type of product that you would want these singles in there the question will is will they just like do it in a secret layer or something um i don't know it's interesting it's fun uh, oh, our first majestic, or what are they called? Uh, I don't even know what they're called in Magic anymore. Not majestic. Uh, mythic. Our first mythic, Leer, Disciple, the Drown. Spells can't be countered. That's pretty dang good. Each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard has flashback. Okay. It's, okay. That seems like a pretty dang strong, uh, that would be a great commander. So, like, if you wanted this as your commander, like, this could be a really cool one. Probably you want it in foil, but that could be a really cool version of that card and the hunt master foil rare and then like the lands too like i think man i think people are kind of sleeping on this i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i think people are kind of sleeping on it a little bit like a foil rare in that alt art it's just gonna be incredibly like the volume of this product is low um i don't know i, I don't know who knows oh a full a planeswalk oh two majestics to mythic sorry uh arlen the pax hope Daybound. if a player casts no spells during their own turn it, it becomes night next turn interesting uh okay create some wolf tokens let me cast the creature spells if they had flash that's pretty good and then a hellkite the dragon uh, that's probably probably worth this 
it's a it's a red dragon all right that was uh that was good all right so like you know i think the sets like this uh, for magic one of the biggest questions i always have is will they print too much um in a set like this it, it doesn't seem like they are printing too much all right so like the another uh dual tap land those are gonna be good for commander like that's a good hit um i i just think you know like this was like this reminds me of the mystery booster boxes which i thought were a phenomenal product um and i i invested eh, heavy for me is 10 boxes uh, i think i have 10 mystery booster boxes curse of the shaken faith and dying to serve what i want is a foil land in this artwork i think that'd be cool um, I, I just think like the, the products that are shorter printed and not like printed for the mass appeal, um, have a lot of potential in magic, uh, because the player base is like, if one or two of these cards kind of takes off and commander takes off, Oh, look at the frog. Um, then I think like, it's a, it's a good thing, right? Like it, it's a good thing when you have that kind of large player base. And then this is the most rare version of the card. Yeah. I don't know. That's the that's the hypothesis anyway. Um, Undead Butler, but I I like the art style. I think it's a little bit lazy, uh, but it kind of fits the theme. Is the is the alternative idea there? Like you know the sets are both like werewolves vampire. Like this is like it fits the theme of like an old horror movie. Uh, maybe some sort of special foil slot would have done it a little bit more, where it's like not like i hate their etched foiling but smoldering egg stitched assistant all right this card i, I i've heard of this one the stitch assistant uh maybe maybe that's part of the there's some uh, arena thing going on with it i've been trying to like be on the the edge of the magic scene lately uh, i've been listening to a couple content creators i've been just trying to like figure out what's going on um i am really excited for kamigawa and uh like i'm just excited to kind of play oh cemetery desecrator another uh, mythic zombie i love zombies when it enters the battlefield or dies exile another card from our graveyard and move to counters man i love i had a, zo a zombie deck was one of the first commander decks i built it was a diagraph zombie deck green and black um so I don't know. I think like as a as a product, if if you can get your hands on this for I think but like I think the other thing is they charge stores a lot more money on this stuff. Um, Florian, they charge stores more for these than the the regular booster boxes, which is kind of crappy. Uh, like, come on, just give your stores like a, a special thing. Like come on, Magic. I don't know. Uh, I think these things are gonna age pretty well. Gisa the popular name faith bound judge all right we're getting a lot of mythics um i i think these are going to age pretty well honestly i i think the the whole spice of this is that it's it can't be reprinted these are all essentially quote unquote you know reserve lists they're not going to reprint them they didn't say that but you know the, like why would they right like uh the slayer another human knight i think the the question is does anything out here stand out in a deck like do you do you see any of these cards in the future if they put some new really cool commander or whatever anything stand out and will any of these kind of become a chase and will this be the rarest version of that chase um that that's kind of the the game you're playing with double feature in my opinion i have not looked at any of the singles i assume that they are tanking and not doing very well right now this is a longer play like this is a five to ten year play i think as most magic investing should be uh oh i think we got a land back there oh we did i just went right for it we got a land there we go uh oh in a pithing needle it's like that's a card that a lot of people play in modern i believe or is it is it pioneer that pithing needles played um uh, anyway so like this would be one of the rarest versions of that card so like that's a win it's a win for this whole idea uh, and then like stuff like that, I think can be like, that's a cool card. Like, I want that in my, I have a lands matter deck. I want that in my lands matter deck because like, that's a foil alt art rare. Like that's cool. Like, I'm sorry, but that's cool. That's good stuff. Um, anyway, uh, we'll see how Kamigawa does enduring angel. Uh, none of my patrons are excited about it. I didn't sell any. So like nobody seems super excited about it. Um, all, all my people are, you know, flesh and blood and metazoo, but 
it's just interesting to see uh, a set like Kamigawa come out and a, a good chunk of people that I know locally being like, okay, I'm coming back for this set. Another m mythic Lord of the Force. Oh, another double. Okay, so there must be some slot here that we're getting a mythic in. Oh, that would have been cool to get three mythic box. Lord of Forsaken, a demon, flying trample, and a hallowed hunting enchantment. Lots of mythics. I like it. I like it. I don't know. I have no clue what the value of any of this stuff is. I have no clue if I'm going to sell it or if I'm just going to keep it and throw it in the, hey, if I ever start playing magic again and I have things, I'll probably keep the land because that's what I wanted. Siphon Insight. And a um, I, I haven't seen any of these new creatures. I haven't really heard of many people really loving the commanders yet. But that's one of the things I think um, typically in Magic, like a commander card doesn't pop up until like a year after it's all released. And then, there, then someone's like, oh my gosh, this one is really good. Splendid Reclamation. All right, there's like a, a classic modern card, you know, staple. Um, that's, like, that's going in my Lands Matter deck. That's in my Lands Matter deck. So that's cool. And then another land. I love, like, I love the lands. That's what I wanted. This is why I opened this, because I knew there was lands in this. Um, again, I don't know what they're worth, but, like, they're super cool. Uh, all right. What do we got? Slatter, slaughter, specialness, Aerith, Tormented. All right, so here's a human wizard. If you would draw a card, X all the top two cards of your library and said, oh, you may play the... Uh, that's pretty dang cool. Like, that's a cool commander. Like, there's some shenanigans you can do with that. Um, that's fun. All right, we got three packs left. I don't know. Let me know what you think about double feature. Uh, I know it's getting dunked on. I thought I'd just experience it for myself today. I, I've had these boxes since the beginning of the week, and I was like, I just need to see one so I don't open all of them. Uh, Adamant Will. All right, two packs left. Uh, in the close, I like these unique products. I, I like that Magic does these unique products, even if they don't always work. Um, I like that they mix it up and that they make um, some different products. I don't like the variants within the same set, but like a variant like this, if it's a different set on TCG player, I think it's okay. Like all these cards are the same frame. Like all, like it, like this is to me a different, like, I don't know. I, I just think like, I don't know. I, the variants in the regular set drives me nuts, but when you have a whole different product like this, I think it's actually kind of a win. Um, in my opinion. All right, Willow Geist, another land and a Chaplain of Alms. All right, so we got lots of lands here. We got one, two, three, four, and a foil. We only get four? Yeah, four, four lands and a foil land. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight majestics and then our splendid reclamation pretty cool anyway let me know what you think about uh double feature uh it's super interesting are you gonna buy any are you opening any did your store like them did they just sit on the shelf for forever um anyway hope you guys have a great day remember to be kind to the people around you and we'll see you again next video